Hey guys, welcome back to Tableau Certified Data Analyst Exam Prep. In this tutorial, we will focus on Domain 3, which accounts for 26% of the overall exam. Now, a large portion of this domain is going to focus on visual analytics, so you need to be comfortable creating different chart types, dashboards, stories, as well as navigation buttons. You also need to have a good understanding of how to add interactivity to your dashboards or views. I would say that almost half of the questions that you're going to see on the practical portion of this exam will come from this domain. So on the exam, they may ask you to create a bar chart or a line chart to show historical sales, for example, or they may ask you to combine existing worksheets into a dashboard and then add dashboard filter actions to specific sheets. You may also get a question that will require you to create a download button on your dashboard to export your data as a PDF or as an image file. I didn't see any questions related to formatting on the exam, but I'm assuming that these types of questions are going to be pretty straightforward. What I would definitely recommend reviewing for sections 3.4 is how to add annotations to your charts and how to create a viz and tooltip. All right, let's take a look at some practice questions. In this question, we're given a data set, which consists of revenue for each item. And we want to use this data set to create a pie chart. So the question is asking us, how would you configure the marks for this pie chart? And the answer here is B. Now, if you struggled in answering this question, make sure that you guys review different types of charts and the steps that you would take in order to create those charts, because you may also see similar questions on dual access charts, histograms, and other commonly used chart types. You're also going to see questions that ask you to modify an existing chart. So in this case, we are asked to modify an existing line chart to show quarterly profit sales and quantity information as three separate lines on the same axis with the same scale. So because you need to visualize more than two measures on the same axis, you know that we're talking about creating a combined axis chart. So we're currently displaying sales information. Now we need to also bring in the profit and the quantity information as well. So to create a combined axis chart, I'm going to grab my second measure. I'm going to hover over my chart until I see my visual cue. So this double ruler represents the visual cue for creating a combined axis chart. So I'm going to drop it in. Tableau will automatically bring in my measure names and measure value fields. And now what I can do is I can open the filter for measure names and check off my quantity field as well. And now I'm able to visualize three different measures on the same axis using the same scale. In this question, we're looking at a highlight table. And so this highlight table consists of three different measures. And there's something very special about this particular highlight table, which is the fact that all of these measures use distinct color palettes. The question is asking us, how do you create the following highlight table? So once again, because you are looking at multiple measures in the view, you know that you are going to be using measure names and measure value fields. So the answer here is D. First, you're going to bring in your measure values field to color. Next, you want to change the mark type to square, and then you need to select the use separate legends option on your measure values in order to assign a unique color palette to each measure in the view. So here we're asked to create a line chart that shows current year versus prior year sales by month. So we're going to bring in our monthly information. So let's drag in our order date. For the date part, we're going to choose month. Now we're going to drag in our sales. So what we want to do now is we want to bring in our order date into filters and filter our data on the current year as well as the last year. So let's bring in our order date. We're going to select the years for the date part. Let's go ahead and assume that our current year is 2021 and our previous year is 2020. So we're going to click OK. And now we need to change the level of detail for this visualization using color. So essentially, I want to display two different line charts one that shows me current year and another line that shows me prior year. So let's bring in our order date and drop it into color. And now we can go ahead and assign a color. So let's go with green for the most current year and gray for the prior year. And now we can make that comparison. This question is going to test your understanding of different types of sorts. So for example, you may be given a chart and asked what would be the correct sort that you would apply to this data in order to sort it in ascending or descending order. And so in this case, we're looking at sorting the segments in descending order within each region. And so the question is asking us, what sort type would you use? The correct answer here is B. And so you would use a nested sort. 
So for the nested sort, you need to remember that whenever you are sorting a dimension within another dimension, like in this case, we're sorting segments within regions, you need to use a nested sort because this is the only sort that will consider each pane independently. You may also get a very simple question like this, which asks you to label minimum and maximum sales values in both years. To label your min and max values, you can click on label, select show mark labels, and then under marks to label here, you want to choose the min and max option. This question is showing us a simple dashboard that consists of three different sheets. And it's asking us what steps we would take in order to swap one of the existing sheets in this dashboard with another sheet from our list. So if you wanted to replace an existing sheet that's in your dashboard with another sheet without removing it, what you can do is you can simply select the sheet, then navigate over to your list, hover over the replacement sheet, and then you will see the swap sheets icon appear. And so you would simply click on that swap sheets icon and then the selected sheet is going to be replaced with another sheet. In this question, we want to create a viz and tooltip to show subcategory sales breakdown for each category. So here we're looking at category sales and we want to be able to hover over each category and show the breakdown for that specific category. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another sheet which is going to contain our breakdown. So here we're looking at subcategory sales information. So this sheet right here is going to be our source sheet and sheet seven is going to be our target sheet. So now in order to create this in tooltip, what you want to do is you want to insert the reference to your target sheet inside this view. So we're going to click on tooltip. We're going to choose insert. And then we're simply going to select the sheet that we want to insert the reference to. So we're choosing our target sheet. As you can see, the markup has been added to our tooltip. So here we see the sheet name reference. We can also see the max width and the max height parameters. So we're going to click OK. And now when we hover over our categories, we can actually see the subcategory breakdown. Question number five is asking us to configure dashboard filter actions for the following target sheets. And we need to select the option that's going to allow us to show these sheets only when a value in another sheet is selected. The correct answer here is C. It's going to be exclude all values. If you guys are not familiar with these options, make sure you go ahead and review them. All right, so for domain three, make sure that you guys know how to create commonly used chart types, such as bar charts, pie charts, histograms. Make sure you also understand how to change a secondary measure of a dual axis chart to act as a primary measure. So creating very simple dashboards, stories, and navigation buttons, such as for example, an information button that you can also show and hide is definitely a must for this particular section. You also need to understand how to work with different dashboard objects. So for example, the download object that allows you to download your data from your dashboard in a specific file format, such as a PDF or a PNG, for example. Make sure you also have a good understanding of how to configure dashboard filter actions, as well as how to create visits and tooltips and annotations on your charts. Now, the questions in this section will be really straightforward, but they will test your understanding of different configuration options when setting up your dashboards, charts, or stories. Make sure you guys don't skip domain three when reviewing the material because these types of questions can help you earn easy points. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Please stay tuned for domain four review. I will be publishing domain four information closer to the end of this week. And don't forget to let us know how you did on the exam. Also, if you have any additional questions related to the material that we are covering for this exam, don't be shy. Feel free to reach out. Happy studying and don't forget to share, like and subscribe to support our channel.